Have you always wanted to escape the matrix? Break free from your boring 9 to 5? Then I've got something for you. Every bro science coach knows that I must now sell you the dream of Lambos and private jets. A core concept to achieve this is passive income. That means you build a product once and once it exists, it earns money while you sleep. As a software developer, you can do something like that probably quickly too. So I came across this video where the creator made a GUI that can create videos. I thought the idea was cool, but not fully developed. I wanted a tool that takes a random fact, let's say about a crow, then creates five facts about it, automatically generates a video and uploads it to YouTube. This should happen every few hours. Then we can sit back and see the tracks rolling. So this is what it looks like in the end. Crows are fascinating birds. You probably don't know these facts. 1. Crows are incredibly intelligent and can solve complex problems. 2. They have excellent memory and can remember faces for years. I show you how to do that. I implemented it with the OpenAI API, the Paxels API and the YouTube API. In the first step, I wanted to find images suitable for the topic. Paxels has the API where you can search for and directly download images for free. Firstly, we want to download four images of that fact and store it on our file system. With the images from Paxels, we have to do a little bit post-processing. The images come in various formats and we need them in a certain format for YouTube Shorts. YouTube expects the width of the video to be 1080 pixels and the height 1920 pixels. We use the image class from PIL for this and end up with uniform images. Then we need a code script that generates the text for our topic. We want to use GPT for this and prompt that we want five interesting facts about our topic, which then will be listed. We send this prompt to OpenAI and get a finished text. For our video, we need the explanation not only as text, but also as MP3, and we can generate that with the Whisper API. We send the text we just generated with GPT to the Whisper API and get back an MP3 file. Okay, so now we've got the text, we've got an MP3 and the images. One part is missing and that's a transcript.srt file. We also get back that from the Whisper API. The SRT file has a special format, namely a timestamp and the corresponding text. These timestamps allows us to display the texts in the video correctly synchronized with the associated speech. From this, we can now dynamically generate a video. For the video generation, we use the library MoviePy. With the MoviePy library, we can generate a complete video from images, audio and text. A bit tricky in the generation process was initially distributing the images so that it makes sense. We have an MP3 file length, which is not always the same, but dynamic, depending on what GPT generates as text and what we get back from the Whisper API. So we dynamically have to calculate the length of each image based on the length attribute of the MP3 and evenly distribute the images over the video. For the subtitles, there is a separate subtitles class in MoviePy, which we then use to integrate it in our video. We also want to create a small zoom effect for our video so that you always see something moving. This simply increases the overall view duration of users. Now we've got our video and of course we want to upload it to YouTube. What we now have to do is that we have to define how our video is actually called, we have to create a description and very important, it must be set as self-declared made for kids as false, otherwise it can't be uploaded. And then we set the privacy status to public. After that, we just upload our video via the YouTube API. To make that code also usable for you, I built it as a CLI tool with the type library. With it, you can create and upload your own videos at any time. What we are still missing is the automation process. For this, you need a very small server and set up a cron job. I set the cron job up to work every four hours. So now I sit back and wait. I did it for one week and this is the result. As you can see, we've got 27 subscribers and some of the videos got over 1000 views. Not too bad. But yeah, we cannot escape the metrics with that. But let's see what happens when Zora comes.